welcome to Joy Fido International. Um, we have been sharing with you a series of videos um, with the various steps to starting your makeup. So we're looking at makeup for beginners but in various steps. And so far um, we've done up to seven steps and it's a 12 step process. So they are in little little clips of different videos to make it so easy for you so you take one step at a time and then you practice and you work with it and try it out and see what you look like so my name is Joy Fido and I'm going to continue with the series so in this step um, remember the previous steps we've done primer uh, concealer and color correct that was the first series and then the second one was working with the foundations and the loose powder we finished her we looked at the eyeliners and then the lipstick so now we're looking at the eyeshadows eyeshadows is what's in this particular video and then uh, we play with um, the highlighters we play with the blushes now this series going forward with the next series of steps are all optional optional because we're thinking that you may not really want to go this far with your makeup because you're new to this you just want to take it slowly one step at a time okay you know what? i've never worn foundation before now people are seeing me with foundation so let me not get too too much in their face so i'm not going to do anything that's crazy or out of my comfort zone so that's why we're saying it's optional it's not something you must do because once your face is done like i have it now you can go out with it you can you can be comfortable with yourself being happy that you achieved a good look or a look that allows you feel good about yourself but if you want to go the you know further you want to start getting more and more into this so that's where the eyeshadow comes in that's where the highlighters and the blushers and and then the eye um eyelashes you know artificial eyelashes coming so let's get on with the with the action okay first thing is the 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 um, materials you need the main main at the moment the biggest brand in eyelash, uh, eyeshadow is Morphe Morphe yeah Morphe comes in different types of palettes and um, the different colors that they come in so this is the Morphe in brighter colors, so really bright colors, which I absolutely love because these are the ones that most people are really into at the moment. And then there's the Morphe that's just the gold blend. Again, lots of people are really into it. You know what I've been saying in the videos, my birthday present from my daughter. Because um, when I say makeup, they know, yes, mommy loves makeup. So these are the darker shades of Morphe. So you may be one who just loves dark shades. Now the dark shades are mostly really good for like evening times. Um, while the brighter shades are more of what you wear when you're going out during the day. So I just be natural. I be myself and I play around with them. The good thing you can do with, with Morphe is just play. That's why they have so many colors. Just Feel free to try whatever comes to your head. Remember, I keep saying that whenever I teach you anything. Creativity is the key. But after I showed you those ones which are the main brands, there are other smaller brands. Um, I bought these ones recently. Again, because they got a bit of different colors for me. Um, what you find with eyeshadows sometimes is they come with their own particular brush. So this one has its own brush. But there's a brush I work with, which I'm going to show you, and that's I will stick to. Uh, that's another brand, and it said um, Smoky. And again, this is a darker shade. So remember, that's a bit bright, and that's darker. So I kind of like play around with it. So if I'm traveling, um, I may carry just one of my Morphe, but definitely not the two. And I may just carry two of the smaller ones for a long trip. So my brush, the brush you need for eyeshadow should be a bit fluffy because you're going to be playing around with it let it not be something that just sticks in one place like this one see how stuck this is you want something that's playing around that's easy to manipulate and that's what you're looking out for in your brush okay 
so what color should we play with um i got purple lipstick on and i think yeah there's a hint of purple in my dress so let's play a bit with purple and then purple and then um, a bit of gold so let's go with the dark purple so you just put your brush in get it and then into your eyes i did remember i did a short course on this and this was what the lady said try and create like a triangle see that i went first with a straight line and then went that way and then that way so a triangle so down and out down and out now this is where I remember we said we need a fluffy brush so this brush should be able to play around with this color that I put on my eyes now what you're going to find is when it comes to color eyeshadow um, older people are not really into it this is where we just give up and say uh, let the young people do it. And this is where you find my daughter is so good at this. I had to ask her, please, could you tell me how you get your eyeshadow to look so good? And she says it's just blending and blending and blending. That's why you need this type of blush. So you see, all I've been doing is just going over and over and over. You get some people who put like some... Um, like um what's that thing called cello tape they just put it there to block it from even moving around um if you can play around with it i'm not really forced so this is that side down and i'm going to do the same thing on this side but what i'll do let me just concentrate on one side get that done and then take them and do the other side so i'll put that base and now um i'm gonna put a hint of red because i kind of like like the red bits either red or purple i normally play with that red a lot so red and then i put that red here to finish off the little patch of the face that i did in anything on so you see the red and the purple playing up now so now once you've done that you play with it play with it over and over and over and this is where the blending comes in um, if you watched the previous video you saw how we were working with the beauty blender as well when we were doing the foundation so I can tell you that when it comes to makeup blending is the key because if what you've done is not blending um it doesn't sit well uh, and I can tell you one thing though um I'm in this studio with lots of lights so I'm sweating I did say um, one of the videos will show you will show you how to avoid the sweating thing so okay so our red and our purple blended 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 red again because the red is not sticking out that much do you see that um remember what i said it's all about you being as creative as you can with your color it comes down to you don't let anyone tell you this is how it should be but whatever you've decided make sure you blend it in really well and so that's purple and red now i want to play a little bit more and i'm going to just take a hint of gold and now summer and we're getting flies all over the place so i'm going to put the the gold up here 
just at the top to connect with my eyebrows. Again, this is my take to things. I don't really see this is how it should be done. Yeah, that's me just doing me. Um, so I put a bit of gold up here. And that's why I asked for this gold because I love gold in makeup. So remember what we said the key is blend 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 so can you see what we've achieved so first it was really that purple down there and then a hint of red down here and then we blended both of them really well and then we created a hint of gold at the top here to kind of like demarcate the eyebrows from our makeup and that's how I done. So I'm going to do the same on the other side and then you see me when I'm done with the eyeshadow. Okay, so you can see what I've achieved so far. Um, so that's the gold up there, um, breaking, breaking the sequence of the colors from the eyebrows. And then I've added just a hint more of the red to give me a bit of color around here and so you you've heard of that word smoky eyes so if you if you want a smoky eye you want it to be a bit darker the edges um what i'm trying to pick up now is a hint of black see that and then i just put that right here not really inside it so it gives me like a darker side And that becomes your idea of what they call smoky eyes um but you can obviously when you've grown more and more into it understanding makeup you can find out a bit more about how to create smoky eyes um it's not really been one of the things i'm really that keen about because what i do is uh, i just play with color and then i achieve a result and i'm happy and i'll just move on to the next thing so that's what's going on here um just a hint of dark on the extreme corner and you achieved your idea of a smoky eye okay so you remember what our rule is um i'm hoping you've got that a bit stocking in the head it's all about blending when i did my course years ago that was what teacher kept talking about blend 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 that's what makes makeup the more you blend the better it looks so you see that it's just the same thing yeah i mean this is why especially for young people they kind of spend so much time on their eyes because this art of blending could take so long when my young daughter goes into her room ready to do makeup, say we're doing anything, <laughs> you can wait forever. She's she's blending. So depending on the occasion you're going for, if you want to achieve that flawless look, give yourself enough time to do this. It's not something I can achieve in seconds in a studio setting and say, wow. I've got the perfect look for you but yeah i hope the idea is there so blend 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 and that gives you what you're looking for and that's why you need that brush that's got a bit a bit of um thing to it that allows you to play with the blending so that's the eyes done now and i'm going to put the lashes on we're done with our eyeshadow and then we're gonna go to the next stage which is the eyelashes okay lashes these are one of my favorite things um and that's tap 11 but then again it's optional remember we said 
after the lipstick everything else are all optional eye eyeshadow optional eyelashes optional mas um what's it called um blusher optional um highlighter optional these are things that you can decide i don't want to deal with all of that it's just too much that's fine but if you are a bit adventurous like i am <laughs> which i then took all of this over time you try it on so let me show you there are so many different of different types of lashes um i don't know if you can see that clearly in here. what i've done this the good thing with this ones they are called mink lashes um they are as close to our human natural lashes as possible so you can reuse them over and over and over again that's the beauty of them we have them in stock we have all the different um designs i'm showing you in stock um so please feel free to order them um we'll put a link for how you can get them that's another one so what you can see now is they come in different um i think density is the word we can use because some of them are really heavy and some of them are kind of light and i'll show you what i mean by really heavy um there are some times when i'm going to certain locations and i wear the really heavy ones and sometimes I just go with the light ones and there are some that are even lighter than this um, my friend I was talking about she I think this is one of the really light ones there's another one that's lighter than this and she's your regular no stress kind of person she doesn't like too much of anything so she only goes for like the lightest lightest one but if you know me like you do now being my friend that we've been on this journey together you know that I like things really loud so that just me let's try and not change me so lashes step 11 optional so what's the next thing we look at we look at the glue that can connect this lash to our own natural lash so this one's called Ilio. Ilio. I actually do like Ilio because um, they really do a good job for me. The other one is Duo. Um, before I knew Ilio, I was using Duo. I still have Duo, 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 whatever you want to call it. I still have it, um, but for as long as I have Ilio, I don't use Duo. Otherwise, whatever ones you come across, go for them. What well, again, um, you know with lashes, you also have that choice of they have the permanent lashes. Which my daughter who studied beauty does very well. Um, but what I find with permanent lashes is they kind of interfere with my own lashes. So that put me off them. It's a bit like when you wear fake nail extensions. The more you get used to it, your nails start to have problems. Same thing with hair extensions. Although I won't say what I do hurts anyone. Um, my my hair extensions actually help their hair grow, which is kind of weird, but I love it that it does that. So if you were to reuse it, this is what I recommend you do. But luckily this one hasn't got much glue on it. Um you kind of like pull the glue off. Just try and move the old glue that was there. And this is how you just try and find it and pull it out. See? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So just go on the base of the eye, look for the glue, and just pull it out. Luckily, this one hasn't got, I mean, it's used, but it's kind of clean. So I take that out. Another thing I would advise you on lashes, um, especially these really good quality ones called the mink lashes. When you finish with your makeup, end of the day, you want to take off your makeup, just slowly rip them off. Just take them off. I won't. I won't use the word rip because rip sounds like oh yeah, it's messing around with your eyes. No, it doesn't. Just slowly take them off your eyes. They don't interfere at all with your own lashes. The glue doesn't hurt your eyes in any form. If you not make the mistake of saying let me go and wash my face first before I take out my lashes, you destroy them. 
that's what happens it's a mistake i made in the past and now i've learned from it and that's why i'm sharing my experience with you so don't put water on your face first just nicely take out the lashes and then you can clean your face whichever way you're going to do it but remember we're going to do one of these days video on how to take out the makeup this is how it comes a bit like i don't know how to describe it um i think in those days we had things like this when we were putting on the eye oh a bit like the liquid liner yes so because of this unique way it comes you can directly just apply them on the lashes see that and all you want to do is make sure it's sitting exactly at the base of the lashes and that's it you just put it down to dry very important for new newcomers to make up um, again you do the same thing on the other lashes or lash Thing when it's two you say lashes and when it's one you say lash <laughs> that's our english lesson there okay so that was that was earlier that i just applied now if you were to use the duo there's a different way you work with it you open it because it doesn't come in that format use quite a little bit on any clean surface oh i don't know if i still got any in this one oh there it is so a little bit just a little bit in that clean surface and that's it and then what you will do is take something that's really um basic or like a clean tip thing and you touch that and apply it there or even like that stick we used earlier you take it up take your lashes and dip it in the in the glue and then apply it directly on the lash so you see the difference now um, what Alio gives you and what duo gives you because in the past again everything I'm showing you or sharing with your experiences I've had in the past I would just take that duo and straight onto my lashes and what will happen is you remember how it was struggling to come out then it comes out in one big blot and then I struggle to clean it off so when I put it on a base like this, it makes my life a lot easier. I only apply what I get, what I want, not what I don't want. So that's a big difference. So that's that. We've got that on. Um, what you then do, you allow it to dry a little bit. The other way is to take it and kind of like fan it, push some air into it. So you find it um what you're gonna find like i showed you the different lashes some of them got some of them guide you you see how that one starts from really small i don't know how i can make this make sense i think this will make sense from my palm you can see it so it starts from really small and then it comes out really big at the edges so that's your guide now you know which eye this will sit in it's not going to be the other eye and then big starts in the inner eye and small at the end no it will be the eye where the smaller starts and the big finishes so that's your guide on that but some of them like that one that one hasn't got any beginning and an end it's just one look so any side you pull is fine but normally again our guide is how they place them in the box so just walk with your box and I save all the boxes. Don't try wear the box because remember we say you can reuse them over and over. Okay, so what is this? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I'm showing you. Tweezers! Oh yeah, tweezers. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is everywhere. So tweezers come in. Some people walk with tweezers. So you see that? Take the tweezers, grip it, and this is how it's going to be applied on your eyes okay so you grip your lashes with your tweezers and then just take them straight onto your eyes eyes a bit down coming from the top and sit it in and press it very close to your eyes
tweezers so it helped to put it there and now what you want to do is use your hand to press it in remember there's glue on this so what you do you press the glue in press it in press it in So what you're doing, you're just pushing it in and pushing it in to sit right next to where your eyelid starts or where your uh, your lashes, your own natural lashes are. Um, remember when we put the eyeliner there? That's the job of the eyeliner to kind of like connect both of them so it's not sitting out looking weird. And this is why some people, when they apply their eyeliner, they put quite a lot. Now, this is what I used to struggle with in the past. I don't know if this visa did a great job for me. When I finished putting my lashes, what I would end up seeing is my lashes would look so down. And you think I'm closing my eyes. Now, if you put it and that glue is not sitting, it's not a problem. What you do is just take a little bit of the glue and just apply in that corner where it's not, where it's still struggling to sit. I'm going to pour a little bit more. But okay, I'll just use the earlier one. So, lift it a little bit and just put it in that exact place. And then now your eyelash can sit there. And one thing you're going to also find, you go, oh, but it's white. No, the good thing with them is they dry in seconds. So don't worry about the color of them. Um, the duo comes with black or white. I still prefer the white because it dries out in seconds. I really like these lashes because it's um seriously I don't get them looking this good in a long time. Um because what I like is it just sitting up, it's not pushing itself down. Sometimes when I finish putting my lashes, you think my eyes are closed because <laughs> there was a party we went to once and this is when I was starting to put my lashes myself. And all the pictures came out with me looking like I was closing my eyes throughout. I knew it was my lashes that was giving me the problem. So you want to put it in such a way that it's not closing your eyes. And when you open your eyes, your lashes are open. And if you look down, I hope when I look down, it looks like it's down. So that's how it should be. Um, lashes trust me is a big problem in makeup because people struggle with it i've seen people when they are trying to put it, their eyes is fluttering and they're struggling to get a good handle of where that should sit and all that it's something you're gonna learn to do over and over and over again so if you find um it's gonna give you a bit of a problem you could get like a really cheap one and practice with it over and over otherwise still get this one because you can reuse them over and over and why i would recommend get a good one so that you get the hang of what it should look like when you start trying to wear them when you're going out so that's lashes for you and remember the tweezers do help if you if you're still struggling with trying to put it yourself i i've gotten to a level where i try to put it myself um again i'll go like that without having to use the tweezer but I think from all the long talk my, my glue is dried out so I'll probably put more see that my hand just went and it's in so I'll press it and make sure it's sitting well so while you may have struggled to get to this level where you just lift it and go and it works work with the tweezer it will guide you it will help you so like I said I didn't mention but I'll just try a little bit of it just in case you're interested it's called the contour 
now contour is something that lots of people i personally am not a huge fan of contour but kim kardashian got popular with contour and this particular brand is called slick so contour is just walking walking from your eyebrow just follow it just down straight down you kind of like put a nice clean line of what that color is and you do the same thing on the other side the trick is make sure it's connecting from your eyebrow down to your nose on this side of it and same thing on this side and that's the main part of contouring then the next people go all that way to just and a bit of here and here and here now you 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 mess around with contour if you have very very light skin and after you've done your makeup your skin still looks very white so you want to like play with nature give it a bit of something that takes away that that demarcation so again once you've done that you then blend it in remember the blending so blend it in blend it in make sure it's all blended in ideally if i was going to contour i would do it before i put my lashes on but i just needed to show you how that works but remember we're saying this is for beginners so this is not something you really should be worrying yourself with it's something for people who have been doing this for so long so contouring sorted out blend it in blend it in and you can see that suddenly i don't look too white around there now if my makeup was too white which it isn't so now let's look at our blusher blusher is what goes here when you put your blusher here look at those normal sideburns kind of look um for us africans is such a beautiful thing we love our sideburns for a girl it shows that you're very hairy which is a good thing for us but not for a typical western world woman the less hair on their body the better uh but i still am my african woman so okay so different types of blushes this is a goldish one and this is actually like a highlighter but i'm going to just apply it as many areas of my face as possible this is a blusher kit again um different shades of it if i'm using this it will be this pinkish or the you know the darkest or the um the heavier the color for me the better i don't do light ones light ones probably will be for like really really light people um this is another uh blusher kit which again has got different bits of colors now i played around with different colors to show you but i'm going to show you my favorite which is just a new one about this is another blusher kit again if i'm using that it will be that one um again you can play around with different one but this is my favorite and this is from sephora i just bought this as well it's not it's not like it's been but i had another one that i used to use that was even broken and i was still stuck on it because it gave me that really beautiful pink that i love so when i saw this a bit expensive but i loved it and i said that's the one so you get your brush this brush you angle it a little bit not remember this is our foundation brush which is like kind of sharp across because it goes like that but this one is not going to go deep 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 into the face it's going to kind of like brush the face so you just touch it a little bit and what the magic of the blusher so again remember you're following the hair and that's it see that what it does it just brings a bit of kind of like bringing a bit of blood to your face like your face is not pale i think that's probably the idea of who was dreaming for this when this started 
so your face is no longer bland so again I'm gonna do the same thing on that side and my friend loves this um, so if you if you love a bit of I can see now so I really can't show you this side but I think if you've seen the other side that tells you what this is. So if you think it's not enough, just add a little bit more. Yes, but I think you can see this side very clearly. So that's 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 the job of the blush. It doesn't need too much, and I'm telling you, this will last me for a really long time. But then again, I got all these bits around, so I never run out of these things. That's my trick. I really hate to run out of my makeup, but. Now, if you didn't, if you didn't find that blush that I've just used, and you couldn't get all this other one, and you have this, you are fine. Because so, if you were using this, the beauty of this one is it can do both jobs for you. It can do the blush a bit, which is this and that, and then this could be your highlighter. Now, highlighter is a different brush. This is like a bigger brush that just brushing, you know, kind of like pushes it throws it across your face it's not something that really must go inside there's another one some people use as well it's a bit like a fan but over time i have loved using this so a little hint of that and highlighter just goes here see that is the shine and so if you're not if you're new to this don't worry about picking each of that just go with this one palette and it will give you two in one but that's so these are my highlighters um this is really like the silver looking one and this is the gold one and um, this is another palette again showing me different colors so it's up to you whatever you want to work with they all do the same job so for me I definitely go with the silver and then silver again a little bit and and it just gets that job done in seconds because it's highly pigmented for that so again on the other side and then the main fun fun part is when you apply it on the nose and this is the one that lots of people love now what this does it kind of like give your nose like a straight look so people think oh yeah her nose is really nicely pointed so once you put it in you kind of like brush it away so it's not too I think that's it. We're done on that one. And uh, if, remember, I said I was going to play with this one as well. This is like a crushed, um, whatever, crushed. Peach. It's kind of like a crushed peach look. So it kind of dries out the face and it doesn't let it stay all glossy. And I think that's it. Um, we've played with everything. Okay, so once you're done, the next big thing is your, um, what do we call this one? Setting spray. What setting spray does is it holds all your makeup together and doesn't let it run. Different brands, MAC, um i don't know this is urban decay and so many other brands that i have out there but i'm going to use a bit of the mark so what you do close your eyes and kind of like angle it from a distance and go and that's it it just holds it together if i were to use that same thing again angle from a distance And that's our makeup done so um, I really hope I've been able to share something amazing with you these various steps um, the final one was step 12 and we're gonna write all the different steps in the description box and 
give us a thumbs up if you love this um like us share with your friends um subscribe to our channel so you get to see more of this and we want to see your look if you've done yours you practice with it and you achieve something amazing please send us pictures email us info at waterbreeding.com or joy joyfido at googlemail.com i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much for watching and god bless you